Round one, chocolate. Ow. Very middle of the road. Not a 10, not a two. All right, next one. I like this one a lot more than the last one. The first one tasted a little bit more like fake chocolatey. Third one. Completely different. It really is like miles past the first one still though. Between the second and the third, I would say that the third one's probably better. But it does feel a little bit healthier, but not in like a gross, like in a healthy stuff, you know, like most things. Here we go, number four. Ah yes, whack. Tastes like childhood, but not in the way that you want it to. This one's Hershey's and they just need to give up at this point. They need to put all their efforts into their theme park and ditch the chocolate. We got five out of 10, middle of the road. Seven, nine, negative four. All right. The Feast of Pools, it just tastes better quality than the rest. That's the easiest way to put it. And you feel good about yourself because it's healthy. So it makes you feel like, ooh, healthy treat. That bad. Moving on. Numero uno. All right, this tastes pretty good, pretty classic. I'm thinking Powerade. I don't know, I've always thought of Powerade as like the off-brand Gatorade. That's what I'm gonna say for now. Numero dos. Immediately, like this one more than the other one. It, it's like stronger, but not in like an artificial type, like fake tasting way. It's also sweeter, which I like, but it's not like sickly sweet. Number three. This tastes weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about this one. It's way saltier. Hope I'm not ripping into any famous people in them. All right, final one, here we go. Ah, coconut water. My old friend, we reunite at last. That's body armor for sure. Yeah, that's good. It does have a bit of a fake sugar taste to it. So out of 10, six, um, 10, one, seven. So nervous. Yeah, um, Powerade, off the rip, terrible. It's like when a Coke machine's like out of the syrup, it's like, oh, this is just gross. That's what that is. I knew it was body art. I mean, coconut water is kind of hard to miss. Yeah, this one, it's just like your classic. Yeah, man, if Logan Paul would have put the same energy he put into this, the crypto zoo, who knows what could have happened. Coffee numero uno. Mm. Bean juice. Ah, uh, yes. My old foe. Uh, that one, not bad, not great. Oh, I forgot. The most important part of the coffee drinking experience, the aromas. Can confirm, smells better than it tastes. On to the second one. Cheers. This is kind of smoky. I, when I drink this, I imagine that beans were just charred, you know? Just now I'm drinking their remains. This one's better than the first one. Number three, my lord. I wafted it all in. This one's good. Um, definitely better than the first. So when I drink number three, I like to imagine it's the 1600s. I'm king as a, no, of course, who else? But you know, there is one problem, and that is that there's no AC, because it's the 1600s. It's a little hot. But there is one plight I have in my throne, and that is that the coffee tastes mildly watered down. But I'm left to query, was it me? Did I brew my bean delight wrong? I would say that this is a very good one, but there's probably some user error within this one. Number four. Ooh, this one's coffee. Not sure if this has something to do with how I brewed the coffee, but that one is the strongest. Yeah, it also kind of has that little like smokiness to it. Finally, to give a rating to all of these, um, I'm not gonna give a rating from like one to 10, because I don't really like 
any of them very much because I'm not a coffee guy. The first one. Gonna have to go with number three. And after that, number two. My favorite would be number four. I would have to say, I think number one is probably McDonald's. So then I think number two is probably Dunkin' Donuts. Number three, I think is the Chamberlain coffee. And then number four, I'd have to say Starbucks because I'm going with fancy is better. I am the man. That just proves I would have been king in the 1600s. Yeah, McDonald's, not very good. Premium roast, more like subpar roast. Um, Dunkin' Donuts. I wouldn't run on Dunkin', I'd run away from Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Chamberlain Coffee, as I thought. Truly believe it was a me problem. Though it was watered down, the flavor was nice. So that one was pretty good. I don't, I don't think it was anything to write home about, you know? I wouldn't write a letter and say, hey, home, that was great. <laughs> 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 So that one, the meat was more meaty. I don't know if that makes any sense. This one was a little bit burnt. Don't know if it was just the one that I got, but a little burnt. This one was more meaty, but also very bread forward, you know? Didn't feel like I got much of the bacon or the cheese. So just going off meatiness, it's a meaty boy. That was good. Unpopular opinion. More bread, not always better. That one was pretty good. It just kind of left me with a, like a weird taste in your mouth, you know? Kind of like water, like from the tap. Like, you know what it's trying to be, but it's just like, eh, you're not quite there. Rating time, seven out of 10. This one, 8.3 to be specific. This burger is a nine. This one, six. McDonald's, better than I thought it was gonna be. Cause I'm not a big McDonald's burger guy. Always go for the nuggies. This one, I was right. Very good. Better than I expected. I'm sure the Mr. Beast one's way better when it's actually from like a Mr. Beast restaurant. Uh, ours comes from Green Turtle. So hmm. this one, I mean, I am very biased towards Five Guys because I get it all the time. So it was a losing battle. So I will say that I like this one way better than the other two. I mean, burnt and tap water. Well, guess we'll just have to go to the Mall of America to try one of these in person. For this round, although Five Guys won, Mr. Beast Burger kind of is the winner because I get Five Guys all the time, so I'm biased. But yeah, these YouTuber brand products really are better than their name brand competition. Links to their channels and products are in the description.